Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Old Guy Review. I am Jerry, and I have been threatening this. And since the versus challenge was over for the Element Sundero, I put on the one pound, six ounces worth of stuff I had for it. All from Club 5. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, Shannon Vance turned me on to Club 5. I got parts for the Gladiator from them. Now I got element parts from them. And I wish they had a bigger line of vehicles that they provide parts for because some of their stuff is it's all reasonably priced in my opinion but it's also engineered very well so let's just start with my favorite thing fender liners so these are 3d printed they're flexible, so they should be durable. They are made specifically with the measurements of this truck because where you see these screws, it's a channel. And the chassis fits right in there. So when you put these on, let me see, one of these rear ones. Yeah, I can't even tell now. One of the rear ones was bent. And it fits on there so well that there's no bends. You've got spaces for rock lights, which is kind of a pain if you don't use rock lights. It comes with all this microscopic hardware for both of them, or for all four of them, actually. Same thing with the front one. You know, engineer just excellent. To the point where I left it out just to show it to you. So that, without losing all my screws, or most of them, let's dump that out. That battery tray fits perfectly in there. And they make it for the big one. I, will, I like the big one better than the small one. Because I'm running bigger packs in this. But... It molds everything, goes back together so perfectly. So, I wanted those, of course, because this truck, being that I put an interior in it that's not quite flush, crap was getting all up in there. So, there's another part. Almost, almost forgot about it. So, these holes exist in the stock form. The fender liners you can get from Axio or from, whoa, my bad, from Element are really thin. But they even took that into account and it comes with hardware. So that is stiff now. And one of the problems was supposedly what people say, and I haven't even done this yet for real. Let's see if I can do it. The bumpers are bending. That chassis is a lot stiffer now. One of the other things about stiffening up the chassis was an aluminum bar. And that's about the extent of the inside. This is mainly where I went. I wanted weight down low, but I got these skid plates for... The Gladiator, and they're just so nice. I mean, let's try to see if you can see this piece is molded so nicely that it curves around the existing skid plate. You only have these four screws, they left these open so you can remove. The transmission if you want you have these two screws they give you these two screws that come with two nuts 
to secure this skid plate. Excellent thinking it all the way through. Now, I've never tried these before, so I wanted to try these high clearance links. Now, the stock ones are five millimeter. These are six millimeter. These are beefy. They come with the pillow balls, the rod ends, which I kept one un... They make two kits for this. They have an eight link and a seven link because there's only seven links on it. So I ended up with extra. So I have this one extra just to show you they're all etched with their logo and the dimensions. So you don't mess up any of your install. Now look at the slip. That, you make sure every time your rod ends are perfect. They screw right onto that lip, and that's where it bottoms out. And it's almost perfect every time. So, excellent engineering. For anyone who has an element, let me see if I can find it, because some of these were detailed. My stock rod ends, this one. That's all rust. So that was a surprise when I took it apart that the links were rusting. So, those were heavy suckers. Even just this bag of these links was heavy. So, with more weight, I got brass wheel hexes. They're 8 millimeters, so it's 16 millimeters wider now. Metal diff cover, which pulling these diffs apart in this truck, as much water and everything this has been through, perfect. The amount of grease was still perfect. I just moved it back over onto the gears. So nice metal diff cover. These little hardware, they're fake because it comes with all new hardware with these skid plates because if you can see there's spacers in there so new hardware spacers protect your nice new diff and I'll tell you what a pain these were because the this truck has gotten a lot of use and these diff covers were like welded on it was crazy So, what do we got? We've got the liners, we've got the aluminum brace, we've got some brass wheel hexes, the skid plate, the diff cover, the center skid plate, the links, same thing up front, same installation, but this was really nothing other than just neat looking, so I got it. Which, if I was to do rock lights, I'm thinking that would be a cool thing to maybe backlight. And as a matter of fact, where did that light go? I had a light here somewhere. Who knows? So those were the parts for the body. We'll see what it does. The only, the only sad part for me was I can't use my sweet little wheel covers anymore but hopefully with one pound 12.4 ounces wait a minute no 1.6 ounces one pound six ounces of extra weight i'm hoping that i may notice it i already enjoyed this truck but in the versus challenge it didn't do as good as it's been doing out in nature but the last part that I'm really pleased with is this truck, this body. I really liked it because it looked like an 80s Dodge to me. And that's why I dodged it up, put some 80s color to it. 
But here is the next Club 5 Racing component. This roll bar. And they make some other stuff to stiffen the body up. But let's just get in there. So you've got this brace that fits right in there by the wheel well. Everything, both of those screws, there's a screw comes up from the bottom, one from the top, one through the wheel well to mount this. Then there's two more up top. Oh, and it came with a nice metal Club 5 racing sticker. It came in one of the kits. But this truck, I tried tons of things to make it not as flexy. Here I am flexing it out. This truck rattled and bugged me, and I tried my best. But now, not only does it have the roll bar holding it, and you can see from the flex over the years how it bowed the bed out, but now we'll see if that comes down a little bit since now you've got fender liners, which let's just uh, flip this over too because... Sometimes with fender liners, not saying anything axial with the SCX-10-3, which is a pain in the ass. Excellent. Hardly any gap. There's that little bit up front. And then you go along to the back. Excellent amount or measurements when they did this and almost no flex because the fender liners are just barely on top of it so once i put the pins in this should be excellent now of course i'm gonna have to do a little detail and i guess again because i had made it dirty underneath all my dirty spots and now it's clean. So that may be down the road. I want to put it back together, test it out on the versus course, and see if I notice anything. So there you go, Shan Advance, or any of the rest of you guys that have an Element Sundero. Give Club 5 a checkout. And for those of you that don't have an Element, they carry a lot of stuff for a lot of different products. And they separate it by vehicles, so it's easy to look things up. So thanks again, everyone. Hope this uh, doesn't let me down with the money I spent on this. Thanks again, Shannon, for pointing me in their way. And everyone else, I will hopefully get back to the Land Rover project. Because I want some input from you guys. So I will see you on the next video.